Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to take a look at some of the things that the guys over at Pitaka sent me. In this video, we are going to take a look at the cases and in the next one, we are going to take a look at the accessories. So in terms of the cases, we have the Mac East Free case and the Mac East Free Pro case. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing. As I said, the accessories are for the next video. So I'm going to put them to the side. We have the case free and the case free pro. We are going to start with the regular case free and it's as simple as just going to the side. Let's get into the package really easy to open. And there is the case itself. I do like this carbon fiber effect, which is actually amaranth fiber, which is really strong material. And I like that it's matte. It's probably going to attract lots of fingerprints, especially when your fingers are kind of greasy, but we gotta live with those. So let's get it out of there. As you can see, there's a nice thank you letter over here. I'm going to put that to the side. Let's get to the case itself. As you can see, we will remove this papery bit and this is the case. It looks really slim. It feels really slim. And as you can see, also everything is just so thin since the main difference between the case free and the case free pro is that the case free is basically for just a case that looks good and it's going to offer less protection than the case free pro, but it's going to make your phone way less bulky. Let's actually grab my iPhone 14 pro and let's stick it in there. I'm just going to turn the screen off and easy as that, it just snaps in and wow, that's really slim. I couldn't even tell that a actual case is on my phone. It looks so sleek, especially with the space black iPhone with this carbon fiber effect. I don't like that on the top, it's open to scratches and also like on the bottom, but then again, that's just my preference. If you are a fan of open case designs, that this might be your perfect fit. I like that the camera bump is really high up so it protects those lenses. That's a really good option if you like slim designs. And as I said, it's catching some fingerprints because I'm quite sweaty on these videos. I will leave this to the side for now and let's get to the Case Free Pro. So, Let's get this again, let's put it here and open this up. Again, recycled materials, which I really like. And the Case Free Pro, right off the bat, we can notice that there is a difference between the camera bumps, since this one is more protected. Again, some paper on the back of the phone, so it protects the insides. And it's this nice, like, kind of like felt material. It's really, really soft, I like it. I really like this little detail, just saying thank you for the purchase. Okay, so before we try out the Pro case, we can take a look at it, and this is way more robust. I would compare it to something like my D-Brand grip case that I had with before, but the brand is a bit chunkier, but again, I like that for the grip. This one is a little bit less chunky. I like the stealth design of the amaranth fiber. Also, Pitaka have lots of designs. I think they have like six designs for the regular one. Make sure to check out their website to really give it a look and they have some amazing designs. They have even done a collaboration with BMW, which looks really cool for all your M Sport fans. In the bigger case, you have this all round protection, which I'm a really big fan of. And as you can see, it has this special lining on the sides. I really like this because when your phone is going to just smash into the ground, it's going to ripple the impact around the whole case and not just hit like the corner of your phone. So let's actually get my phone into there. Okay, so I finally got my phone out of the case, it was pretty hard to be honest. It holds really tight. There's probably a technique to put it out of there, but I just don't know the technique. Let's get right into the pro case and I'm just going to stick my phone in it. Nice. That click is really good. The buttons, the buttons feel nice. The buttons are nice and tactile. They're not too hard to switch. I know that Pitaka had some problems with their previous case with the buttons being all mushy and stuff, but now they fixed it. And apparently they also have stronger magnets in the MagSafe because some YouTubers were complaining that the MagSafe wasn't really strong enough. But then again, I don't really use MagSafe whatsoever. I'm going to with all of the accessories that we are going to check out in the next video. This new design should have stronger MagSafe. It's also improved buttons and the case just looks so nice on the phone. It's this nice like kind of slim design still. Like compared to this one, it's kind of bulky, but compared to my D-Brand grip, it's really not. Because the D-Brand grip is just a big boy and this one is kind of like a slim, sleek design. I would probably describe this case if you're going to compare them to like cars, I would describe this as a Porsche car. Nicely designed, slim and go for the performance with style. This would be probably a Lamborghini. Pretty ruthless for the guys hanging out on the really tight knits, but then again, it's really lightweight. But I'm sure that these guys, if they slip out of your hand and the amaranth fiber on both of them hits the 
the ground, it's going to absorb all of the impact and your phone is going to be fine. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this quick unboxing of the Case 3 and the Case 3 Pro. And in the future, I'm going to be definitely making a video after some time of using these. And for the guys who are interested in all of the accessories, the video should be right here. So go and take a look and I'll see you there. Bye-bye.